Um, um, um. Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling, infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons, lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. One such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. You are a convict, tasked with exploring this anomaly, and a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you'll be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training. If successful, you earn your freedom. Beginning at descent. Hello everyone, Sinister Art here. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds, stand by. And we're playing the modern classic Iron Lung. Which is currently being made to a full length uh, film. I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. Soon to be released to theaters within the next year or two by Markiplier. Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. I've never personally played the game myself, only Closing seen hole shielding. one or two actual playthroughs of it a couple years ago. So, with what little knowledge I have on the floor. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so risk thing and be careful. You're on your own. Good. End of the game itself, we're gonna venture forward. That's really high sensitivity. Okay, what are the controls here? What is this? This is not an expedition. It is an execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And even if you do, and even if they keep their promises, what freedom waits for you? A few dying ships in a sea of dead stars? If there is still hope, it lies beyond the veil. Hope in this void is as illusory as the starlight. I will choose to breathe my last here at the bottom of the ocean. Unseen, unheard, and uncontrolled. They will get their execution. I will get my freedom. That's what Markiplier says in the trailer, guys. What do I need to do? Okay. Tab his map. Two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration of Moon AT5 for the first time since the Quiet Rapture, leading to the discovery of a fourth blood ocean. A trench between the ocean surface has several points of interest. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the SM-13's forward camera. Photos must be taken within two units of the specified position and at 10 degrees of unspeci at specified angle. You can also use the camera to help with the navigation. Um, since you can navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. Query. Um, AT5. Oh, blood oceans. Redacted. An unexplained phenomena that has been identified on four separate moons since the Quiet Rapture, Moon AT5 and Moon Z8 are the most notable locations as they are under the control of the COI. And enough research has been conducted on the blood itself to determine that it is indeed human blood, but we have not discovered where it comes from or how it keeps its liquid form. The Consolidation of Iron is the brotherhood of three space stations and two spacecrafts found on the principle of collectivism, founded on the principle of collectivism and ruled by the popular vote of all citizens, numbering 257 at the time of the century. Its name comes from the iron and steel materials its two main stations are constructed from. Um, the principle of unity and togetherness in the face of menace from other surrounding stations such as Eden. Eden, a threat to all collective well-being after the attack of the filament station. Okay, filament station was the fourth and largest space station in the Koi until 362 EIC um, when tensions when tensions between the Koi and Eden erupted in a nine-day battle on the station. The conflict battle ended unresolved when Eden troops resorted to sabotaging the station's rector. Rector? Resitor? Resulting in critical breach. The breach left filament station unhabitable due to high levels of radiation and in a sense sat empty since. Prisoners taken during the conflict have been undergoing a conviction realization in the years since, with the final ones expected to repay their debts and integrate into Koi society by 381 EIC. Conviction realization, a humane form of criminal justice where crimes are repaid by rendering service to the general collective. Often this is performed surveys, maintenance, or other similarly beneficial tasks. I'm assuming that's what we're doing. We're doing conviction realization where we are now being forced into exploring AT5. Z8. What about Z8? Uh, Z8. One of the four known blood oceans. 
historically been used for realization of Corey of Convictions. Till Moon AT5. The Quiet Rapture. So in 357, without any prior warning, radio contact with our respective planets was suddenly cut. Nobody can recall having visual contact with any planets when the incident occurred, or experiencing any other visual, unusual phenomena, so it's uncertain what exactly might have happened. Upon investigation, it was observed independently by several stations that where there had been previously been planets, nothing remained. Further investigation over the following months revealed that all known planets with sentient life, flora and fauna, a habitable atmosphere, or any sort of natural resources were likewise gone, along with all known stars. The only celestial bodies that have been found since are either uninhabitable moons or asteroids. Many theories have been proposed for this disaster, including religious in interpretations of it, as a literal rapture, some unknown quantum anomaly, or something more cosmic and sinister. There are no concrete answers yet. Okay, I think that's all we really have right now. Cool. 322186. Okay, I think we're heading in the general direction, so we need Y182 or 186. So at some point, all known habitable planets, all known stars, just vanished. If you're on a planet, you're you're just gone. Unsure of what exactly happened. All right, point of interest. Photograph. Huh. It looks like a pile of bones. That's one, okay. Next is three seven eight. Clearly something's out there, making a bunch of fucking noise. And we need to be at 50, correct? Yeah, all right. What do we got? More what appears to be bones sticking out of the, uh, the ground there. Perplexing, unnerving, even. Oxygen notification. Oh, oxygen's lowering, how lovely. Two five nine, getting closer. Oh, noise. Saving progress. Oh boy. Oh joy. Two five nine four oh six. What is making all that fucking noise? The fuck is that? Is that one of the things? That is okay. Well, okay, we need a loop around, pretty much. Whatever those things are, I guess they're making noise. They look like giant, like, worms, almost. Some kind of strange coral structure. Also quite unnerving, this entire ocean is made of human blood, which likely means the four other blood oceans are made of, you know, human blood. Which raises a lot of questions about the people who went missing. About the people who died. About the planets that are wiped off the map now. No more Earth, no more Mars, no more anything else that's been colonized. Should be about 325, we should be fine. Fuck. Okay, clearly I read that wrong. Oh, we need to go all the way back there, are you kidding me? Okay, if we're at X, 350, we should be about right... X, 350... Y302. So we're about right here. We should be good. Alright, pass through. So now we're through here. We need to get to 560 by 277. How do I how do I fix you? Alright, um, I guess that's just a little, little leak we have. What is that noise? Um. Well, there's something there for uh, for a hot second. All right, should be about there. Hey, I'm noticing something in the background there. I don't know about y'all. I 
we're gonna pretend like that just wasn't there. Okay. 613-197. Um... All right. It's nothing, just the, the boat settling. Nothing to be concerned about, to be worried about. Nothing at all. All of your progress being saved. Totally inconsequential. Nothing to be worried about at all. 55. And it's bones of something long dead. Yep, that is not a whale. I don't think that's a whale. Just uh, just a theory, just a thought, perhaps. Okay, eight, six, whatever, something or other. What was that? What was that? Okay. What do we need to be at? 264, 256. Okay, we should be about there. 258, we need aperture of 209. All right, what do we got? That's a whole ass building. How is there a whole building at the bottom of an, a blood ocean? What the fuck? Okay, so we have um a building of some kind down here. How, um... How neat is that, everyone? Oh, that's great. I don't need whatever that is anyway. Okay, I need to go to 623. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's fine. Two, three, five, five, twenty. Ooh. Um. Uh. Man, totally crazy how the walls are moving around here. With sixty-three as the area. All right. What do we got? Bones. A lot of spinal cords here. Indicative of something that is really large and long since dead. Completely normal. Nothing to be concerned about, everyone. So now we do to need to do a full like 180. Start heading this direction. And a good ghostly noise to you two. So wall. Is this the area we need to go? Because there's no clear way that I'm seeing. We need to be at about 375 by 500. Oxygen Shit. Okay. Running low on oxygen still. Keep saving progress. So 375-ish, I'm guessing. And then we look upwards. Passing through it. Okay. I guess that puts us through... So 325 by 741 is going to be the one right in front of us. So let's just do that real quick. 325, 731. 325, 731. Oh, shit. That feels a little toasty in here. Fire isn't going away. The fire isn't going away. What do I do? Well, I could have gotten poorly. Okay. At 18. Hmm. There were some big ass bones. I don't know about you. Is that it? Okay. The bones. The bones are gotten. Bones of a big, big mean fella down here. You know, I don't know what's scarier. The fact that these bones are down here or the fact that there might have been something larger than it that killed it. Okay. So the next place to go is 180. 576 and we have to get around some pretty fucky things to make that work. So that's going to be around 300 
655. So X will be 655. Excuse me, Y will be 650. X will be 300. Hearing some very strange noises. What is that noise? We need to turn roughly this way. Fuck. It's very loud. It's very unnerving. Things are shaking. Things are shaking quite dramatically. Why are things shaking so badly? 180 by 576. 576. Um, 184. All right. What am I looking at? What the fuck is that? What is that? The anomaly? What the fuck's the anomaly? So bright. Causing such intense distortions. So I'm guessing that gives us somewhat of a clue of what maybe happened to the planets. All of humanity. Whatever the fuck that anomaly is might be directly, tangentially related to it. It would not shock me. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Are we good? Alright. All right. That scared the shit out of me. I was not expecting that. Of the two things I remember about this game, it's it's the underground uh, building, the underwater building, and um, the fish ending. I know how it ends. Everything in between, though, I genuinely don't remember, so I am figuring this out as I go along. Because it's been... Oh, God. I don't remember when this game originally came out, but it feels like forever ago. We have one more thing to look at. One more thing to be terrified by. That's all the way at here. So we need to be at 700, roughly 700x, roughly 500y. Saving progress. Lovely. That always means something fantastic's about to happen. Um, um, um. Uh. Okay, I have I have claustrophobia. I don't like this at all. I even though I'm not actually in the water, I mm, Okay. We're fine. 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 We're good. We're good. Just just keep going. Just keep going. Nothing's wrong. Okay. Y is 700, so we're fine there. We just need to focus on going X. Okay, then we need to go upwards. Yep, thank you. Appreciate that. I don't like the noises I'm hearing outside of this iron lung. I don't like the noises outside of the vessel here. If they could just stop altogether, that would be such a relief to me. Oh, this is filling with blood. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This is steadily filling with water. Holy shit. Okay. Go forward. Go upwards a little bit. Add. At 675. By 828. Oh god, am I about to die? Is this is this the fish ending? Is this us? Is this Oh It was. I think it was, guys. I didn't even see it. I'm glad I didn't see it because it would have made it so much worse. Oh my. The expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench as though it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage cannot be reached at this time. No photographs have been recovered. The stars shine as pale as bones. The moon is as lifeless as a corpse. Its ocean a gaping wound. The universe what's left of it is dying. But somewhere in the void... There must be hope. Finish the game. We're beyond the veil. Oh boy, how fun. How great. I love that. Mm. Alright, that was Iron Lung. I'm sure you've you've seen countless playthroughs of it at this time. I'm sure you know all about it because of Markiplier making it into a film. It was 
big quite a few years ago, but someone asked to play it, and I've always wanted to play it anyway, so that was that. Iron Lung, available on Steam. I think it's like $10, so if you want, go grab it yourself. There'll be a link down in the description and pinned comment. Otherwise, I've been Sister Hearts. Thank you all for watching.